let's find the rank and nullity of these two matrices. In each case, we'll reduce the matrix to row echelon form to find the rank, and then I'll show you how to find the nullity using this theorem and not using it. Beginning with matrix A, its rank is the number of leading ones in its row echelon form. So we perform Gaussian elimination in order to get it into this row echelon form. In row echelon form, we see that there are two leading ones. Hence, the rank of our matrix A must be 2. We also know that the rank plus the nullity equals the number of columns, of which there are 4. Hence, we have that 2, the rank, plus the nullity is equal to 4. And so the nullity of this matrix must be 2. We could also find nullity the old-fashioned way by finding a basis for the solution space of AX equals 0. AX equals 0 has this as its augmented matrix, and if we performed Gaussian elimination on that, we would, of course, arrive at this same matrix as before, except with this column of zeros. Then we convert the rows into these equations, noticing that X2 and X3 are free variables, and so we may parameterize them as S and T. Then the solutions to this system are vectors of this form the coefficients of s plus these coefficients of t. For example, the coefficients of s, we have that x1 has negative 2 s, x2 has 1 s, x3 has no s's, and x4 has no s's, similarly for this t coefficient vector. So there are two basis vectors for the solution space of ax equals 0, so the dimension of the null space, hence the nullity, is 2. Notice each of these basis vectors for the solution space comes from a parameter, one for s and one for t. And the number of parameters is the number of free variables, which is the number of columns minus those columns that have leading ones. So just two columns, so two free variables, so two is the nullity. We complete a similar procedure for matrix B. You can verify that if we perform Gaussian elimination, we arrive at this row echelon form, and we see that there are four leading ones. Hence, the rank of the matrix B is 4. The rank plus the nullity must equal the number of columns, which is also 4. Thus, the nullity must equal 0. We could also find the nullity the old-fashioned way. The augmented matrix for this homogeneous system would reduce to this row echelon form. Same matrix we saw before, but with this column of zeros. We could then get it into this reduced row echelon form by subtracting multiples of the last row from the previous rows to get rid of those numbers, and so on for the other rows. Hence, the only solution to this system is the trivial solution, the dimension of the null space, and hence the nullity is zero. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.